Uh, good evening. I just want to welcome everybody to the Facilities Management and Transportation Committee meeting for Monday, June 6th, 2022. I can't believe we're already a week into June. Unbelievable. Um, but at this time, I want to call the meeting to order and see if there's any public comment on the agenda. No, no comments. Okay. Well, then, how about if I turn it over to Mr. Lally? Thank you, Mrs. Epstein. Sure. Uh, good evening, everyone. We're going to go a little out of order on the agenda this evening as uh, uh, Mr. Lynch from Dewey is running just slightly behind, but he should be here shortly. So if it's okay with everyone, I'd like to start with uh, item number two on the agenda, which is the policy deletion of policy 811, which is school bus idling. Um, this is this is a board policy that better fits in our, our, our regular our admin regs than it does as a actual board policy. So I wanted to bring that up as the first item. Anybody have any questions about deleting this policy? Okay. Okay. That was easy. Thank you. Sure. Um, so we'll keep going in that. So uh, the next thing on the agenda was actually summer cleaning. And I think if we go down, there is a um, just a kind of a checklist I thought I'd share with the board. And again, trying to give everybody just a little bit of information what happens in summer cleaning. Uh, every room's emptied out. Every desk is what clean, disinfected. Carpets are cleaned and shampooed. And floors are actually, yes, you're... <laughs> We're looking at our bistro floor, yes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, so again, there, this is a checklist that goes outside on the doors, and I know Dr. Christian will contact me several times through the summer, and we'll do walkthroughs of the building, and we'll look at the checklist, and we'll also look at random things that maybe are missed and aren't on the checklist, but we've tried to grow this over the years to encompass everything that we're doing and use it in, in each area. So it's a guideline for the custodians that is really helpful. Um, and then if you scroll down, you can even see like where we keep, you know, did they strip the floor to wet back the floor it just kind of helps procedurally. And then maybe most important for everybody right now is the classroom HVAC um, vents. And you can see that the filters are changed by the maintenance department, obviously not the custodians, um, because at that time they actually do a preventative maintenance check of all the units at that time to make sure we're, we're ready for um, September and the return of the students. And then last but not least, um, we have our final walkthrough um, with Dr. Christian, which usually is the principal, Dr. Christian, myself, and the head custodian. So that's just a little background on summer cleaning. If you ever came by any of the schools and you see everything out in the hallway, kind of looks like a, a war zone, but it's intentional. Um, and, and it's actually pretty much down to a science at this point, because if you look at the programs we have in the summer, we clean around the program. So that's why we work all together, obviously, as a team with Dr. Christian and Rosemary and, and what the summer programs are. And then we clean around those summer programs. And most of all of our ESY is over at Ridge Park again this year. So that will be and they do a nice job. Joe's team does a good job cleaning around it. But even at the end. Yeah. There's some catch up there. So if all the other buildings are done, though, then he brings over staff from the other buildings and they can knock out Ridge quickly. And then we added a piece a year ago during the walkthrough. It's not just a school preparation walkthrough. It's also Drew comes with his team and we do a technology check, too, to make sure everything's operating. Um, but we'll have, I mean, we've 5,200, 5,300 kids. We'll have six or 700 kids on campus all summer for various programs. Sure in the high school and at Ridge, mostly some in the middle school too. Yeah. And then by August 10th, once band gets started again and the athletic teams start, you're looking at about 1,500 kids on campus. So a lot of that has to be finished by then. Of course, this year we have the benefit of not having to worry about um, a new school being built. That's and, true. Uh, and, and we're grateful to accept that this year. Yep. <laughs> So, yeah, and I'm, I'm glad Dr. Christian brought that up because we, we do um, team clean in the end if we need to and bring people to other schools to finish if that's what's required. Um, and we've even, over the years, we've come so far as a group that we've had turf people and maintenance people, whatever we need to do to get ready. We'll, you know, the, uh, the ladies and guys have been great. They'll all pitch in and we'll do what it takes to get ready. So we're fortunate. So any questions on summer cleaning? Just want to confirm that during this process, we'll remove the 
six feet away stickers and maybe arrows all leaving always of which direction to walk and great question we are taking them off never need to be reinstated we, we 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 are taking photos just so we know where they were just in case sure but, but we are removing them okay thank you okay and what can be salvaged because some of it is velcro that's on top of carpet we will save just in case yeah but those conversations have been had <laughs> so along that note and looking at this lovely carpet are are the plans for next year to go back to the cafeteria as normal they are yeah they are some of the schools actually did it last week and uh we've just kept uh ces we probably could have gone back but at this point the schedule's kind of set no that's kids, fine the kids love the big chairs in here too. you just <laughs> you see the toll it's taken it has we're gonna have yeah and i that falls on me joe 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 and I knew the risk going into it, and uh, but yeah, it's taking a bit of a toll. We're just going to put another part purple square there. <laughs> and we'll take care of that out. And and, and down we're there. Keep it going, and down there, and down there. We maybe maybe I a few. I think more, too. We didn't. It wasn't just a matter of using other spaces for overflow. We also added lunches in several of the buildings. Right. You know, the right. middle school went from three to six lunches. All right, but the plan is to go back to yep, pre-COVID lunches, and, the, and we have a larger cafeteria over there, um, so it can handle it um so that's impacted our staff schedules it's um impacted student schedules i mean the kids are eating pretty early at the middle school so now we'll go back to go back to regular lunches and that's good the kids want it the staff wants it and so it's the right thing to do can i just ask a clarifying question more sure. out of curiosity really um with the new middle school the new materials perhaps um is there anything that's significantly changed for that building in particular with summer cleaning I mean, yeah, there's, there's more terrazzo. We're going to have a lot of floor work this summer because um, I don't know, when we opened the school, we actually did a, a cleaning and then just like a, 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 an initial coat on all the floors. So we, did, we sealed them, but we didn't wax them, strip them. Though. So there's going to be a lot of floor work in there over the summer, um, and that'll take up bulk of it. But the good news is it's a new building, so we can focus on the floors where we don't have to really focus on a lot of the other spots that you would have to if the building was used all year long. Just curious, thank you. And it's it's another forty thousand square feet, so it is. Uh, we added a we added staff to the building too. Yep. I just had a random thought too about um, the basketball courts refinishing. That doesn't come in that. That's a separate facilities kind of expense when necessary. It is correct. Okay. Yep. And we have all the requests for next season already. <laughs> so I'm just going to, if it's okay with everyone, I'm just going to. Oh, yeah. I'll move to the next item and then I'll ask Mr. Lynch to come up because it's just the, the, last, uh, the last couple things on here I think will be brief. And, and for me, it's a graduation preparation. And first, I want to start by thanking um, Nate Barone, Tim McDonald, um, the security crew, Richie Walton, and the custodians. The tech school graduation was a successful night. Um, it was pretty crowded, um, and, and we got rave reviews from Dr. King, and thanks from everybody over at the tech school. So I wanted to make sure that um, anyone that didn't get a chance to attend it, that, boy, they packed that gym. It was packed. It was standing room only. Yeah. Literally. That's all. Yeah. So it was... Um, you know, it was a good event, and you know, uh, it, it's it's always nice to participate and help them out uh, from my perspective, and we're, we're we're glad to do it. So it worked out really well. So I thought I wanted to make sure everyone knew how hard those guys work, and then obviously we are prepping for CES tomorrow, um, and and CES is uh, they did their practice today because they're going to be out on the football field also. So um, and then PW obviously on Wednesday. And then uh, CMS on Thursday. So we, we have all new for CMS, you know, we built all new, a new stage. There's a lot of preparation that goes into it, obviously. We got to make it ADA compliant. Um, and, and we reinforced the stage uh, up at the stadium this year um, for a specific uh, student with needs that has a rather heavy wheelchair. So that, that's the work that has to happen every year. We, uh... The middle school is the biggest challenge um, because we really felt the eighth grade needed to have their ceremony in the middle school. A bit more people in the high school, but it's the new middle school. It's also a great opportunity to show the building off to parents, um, but it, as a result, we do have to limit capacity. Um, so we ask parents just for parents to attend. 
uh, but we also are uh, live streaming it. So, um, you know, Bob's putting out parking is going to be a big challenge because even though the building, the old building is down, it's not obviously can't be traversed uh, by foot or by vehicle. So the tech school is loaning us their parking lot and we'll have shuttles running over to the school and we'll use every parking spot we can create over there. The um, Tim McDonald and I went and spot, spoke with the Plymouth police and they're actually giving us um, new hope from Belvoir to the first stop sign. So they're going to allow us to park on that road that day. So that's going to give us a substantial amount of spots and that keeps the tech school as a good shuttle spot that everyone can just walk to the tech school and we can shuttle them up to the new school. So, yep. so we want to thank them also. Any questions about graduation preparation? Okay, I, I will end before I turn it over to, to Dave with um, just saying um, George donifrey has been here for several years. He'll be retiring in July. Um, I always like to try and throw out a little positive note. We were contacted several weeks ago by um, Mrs. Bucci down at the high school about a student with an IEP that had interest in HVAC and things like that. And we arranged several times that um, that student could spend with George um, just looking at equipment and kind of giving him some information on, you know, what he would need to do if he wanted to get into that, that, that field or discipline. And, um, you know, I thought it was just nice to mention that George gracefully took that on and, and actually enjoyed it. And it was a good experience. And I like mentioning those things because I think it's important to know that we have people that have gone, you know, above and beyond. But unfortunately, he'll be retiring in July, but we wish him the best. Probably the only person aside from you, Joe, that is in every building continually. If there's an emergency and I run over to the building, he's always he's already there. No Absolutely, matter what time Dr. It is. Christian. So. Yeah. He's been an ace. Yep, George yep. Is, and he's very quiet, but he, there's a quiet strength about him, and he's very calming, especially for me. Very true. <laughs> that is George. And we lost heat at Conchock, and <laughs> he, said, really, he said, "We'll get it up and going. We'll get it going." And he, you did. He did. Yeah. He again. He's, very steady. he's been a great asset to the district and i just thought it was really nice that when carol reached out and said could he shadow someone for a while they just great sure well, you know so it was, it's good to know that we again people like that working here so um thank you to george and then the last thing on the agenda before we turn it over to mr lynch would be a transportation update from mr zablowski yeah so uh four days to go uh, looks like we're going to make it uh it has been a struggle so we are already working with uh, first student to get their recruiting efforts up and uh, going over the summer so we don't have this issue next year. Who knows how's it, how it's going to go, but they were uh, Plymouth Township days this past weekend. Uh, have not heard whether they got a lot of applicants from that. May, may take a while. Uh, but I did want to uh, share with you the uh, their new flyer that you could see around the district. Uh, we got the typos taken care of, but uh, they are doing uh, $25 uh, per hour starting. And 3,000 without a CDL and 5,000 with a CDL. So they're hoping that they bring some some applicants in with with that. So uh, and uh, I don't know how it's going to work, but they also also put on there the sign-on bonus expires at the end of July. So hopefully that'll get people uh, early this, in the summer, so we can get them trained and behind the wheel starting in in September. So we're uh, we're doing our best to to get the recruiting going. Hopefully the uh, uh, you get some some folks out there that need a job. I saw um, driving through Norristown over the weekend. They have a big giant billboard right on Main Street. Can't miss it. Yeah, so, they're they're wow. spending money to try to get out. They are, but just not not good right now. So. There's billboards on the turnpike for any driver for anywhere for freight drivers. They're all over. Every so. every truck has the application. You know, call us. We want you to drive for Walmart or whoever. Right. So. Okay, if there's no other questions from Mr. Zablowski, I think we've officially worked our way back, back to the opening item on the agenda, and that would be for Mr. Jamie Lynch. Thanks very much. Good evening. Sorry, a little accident in Reading got me delayed. But a uh, quick update on uh, Colonial Middle School, and to use the baseball phrase, going, going, gone. Um, it's just about all gone. And... I think really the only message I have this evening is uh, really congratulations to uh, the board, to the administration, because after graduation this week, to the day, we will start milling the asphalt 
to build the new parking lots that we had planned to do some three years ago to the day. Um, so big congratulations to all the action that, that the board has taken, that the administration has taken to the blood, sweat, and tears all the way through COVID and, and all kinds of other stuff to, to bring us to, uh, to that day. So that's uh, certainly exciting. Um, you see a couple of photos here, uh, some good drone shots, this one and the next one especially that uh, shows the existing middle school operating while demo is happening in the, in the front. Hopefully all of the classroom windows had their blinds down so that kids would pay attention to what's happening in the classroom as opposed to the fun that's happening across the street. Um, but this summer, uh, after school lets out, um, we'll take really full command of the site. Um, the Belvoir Drive access will not be used during the summer, so we'll have to use the New Hope access because that roadway gets milled out. We get a new retaining wall along the property line. You have new utilities going in, and so um, we're basically putting a lot of fill, all the piles that you see in place of the building. In this image, you can see that the slabs still need to be broken up that are below the building and uh, punctured so that water can drain down. And, and so we've got two months of hard labor in order to get um, that asphalt in place for start of school. Um, so it's, uh, uh, you know, really been exciting to, uh, the, the big move was really the abatement in the existing building last summer instead of this summer. Um, I think, you know, we did that and made that decision and how to treat the floors and paint the floors and be ready. And that's where the savings was that got everybody back on track. So if you go forward, Dave, um, uh, demo contractor's been doing a, a, a splendid job. He pretty much told us 60 days, and he's right there to the day. We have an underground fuel storage tank to remove yet. Um, that's the last kind of piece of the puzzle. Um, so uh, sorry to say, it's, it's a little boring out there, uh, aside from the nice pictures. Uh, so the remaining work schedule is here, which involves removal of the underground storage tank. That's the existing one. Uh, finishing demo and, and backfill. The big note is no access via Belvoir after June 13th, um, or maybe a couple days after that. Um, and we'll be constructing the athletic fields and putting in the utilities and the site lighting for those parking lots, uh, still with the goal of uh, putting uh, buses and uh, visitors uh, and parents on those new parking lots uh, in the fall. In the building, if you go to the next slide, Dave, a couple of uh, open work items. The last pieces of the AV system are coming in. Most of the actual pieces, like speakers and such, have now been delivered, uh, and we're still working on the controls, which is really caught up in a supply chain issue. It's just been a nightmare trying to get AV systems for schools. Same thing for card readers. Um, we have gotten, finally, these uh, Mercury, that's the name of the company. There's no Mercury in the switches. Mercury switches, they've been delivered to the site, and so we'll coordinate the install. The balance of cameras are, for the large part, complete and installed. The emergency responder system for the 800 megahertz uh, emergency responder signal will happen during the summer. We will still have some soils left over when we're done to deal with. Um, we've so far spread some of those soils and raised the baseball field slightly. Um, and we also in, are intent on leaving some of the soils on the tech site not in a uh, unattractive manner, and then we should try to minimize the amount of soil that we have to export. But I'll continue to apprise you on where we stand as we see those big piles out there go in place of the building. Yes, ma'am. So when you raise the uh, baseball field a little bit, does that change the flow of the water in a rain event? And great. like, do we, you know, is that? The great question is, looked into? no, it doesn't. Um, so on either side of the baseball field is an existing drainage swale. Um, that carries water down to the lowest part of the site. And we have a, a rain garden, a new rain garden, that will forever be in that location. And so the drainage paths are essentially the same. What we've done is raise the diamond, but kept the swales on either side where they were. So it drains off the field into the swales and away. Okay? It's not like the whole field came up. Um, and the emergency generator is in uh, service and uh, running with the help of a, pr a, a temporary load bank that's in, installed. You've heard about the load bank issue and the, and the leading power factor issue that we're working on presently there. But you have an emergency generator for all the life safety systems that are in the building right now. Um, 
Quick update on synthetic track. The design of this was uh, approved by the board for KCBA to start working on uh, in May. And I think when I was here last time, I cautioned everyone about how long it would take and how we get the pricing and, and do all of that. And so what we did is put together, we designed synthetic turf and athletic fields, and we put the typical details together and gave them to pen builders so that they could start looking at what the issues would be, whether it's pricing or supply chain or whatever. And then we've had a meeting with uh, Joe and the AD to identify what's specifically desired for your track. And so check that box. The other nice thing is that it appears, based on the stormwater design, that we would only need a minor uh, permit mod for the NPDES permit that we get from the Conservation District. I had a meeting with them on another job and kind of broached the subject with them, and, and they tended to agree. So we want to confirm that. That's what KCBA and Gilmore will uh, be doing here in the next uh, month. And then the other thing is to just make the township aware that this is uh, likely to happen and to be formally uh, appropriate, the land development plan should be amended to include the synthetic track. I don't see any real issues with that, but that's what we should uh, get on. Um, it's the same schedule uh, issues that we talked about at the last um, meeting. You can imagine that w we believe we have the ability to hopefully get the paving down this fall, but the design has to be finished, the approval's in place, and we move ahead. Um, I'm 100% sure that the spray on the track, the urethane, would happen next spring, next summer. You need 30 days of cure time on asphalt. You need 40 degrees in rising when you spray the track. So that sounds like a next spring thing. So let's, I would suggest that we wait to see how Gilmore and KCBA work with the design. We're trying to get Penn to work with uh, pricing. I put my budget together on the basis of some state contract uh, help that I got, so I think I'm in the in the in a good ballpark. And uh, Penn is working on uh, some numbers really to drive the the design based on what they would construct and what they've done on other tracks. This is how Gilmore and ultimately the district should consider the design to take place. So that's what's happening there. Questions, comments. Is there any update on the grant application? The update on the grant application is, let's see if I get the whole thing straight, $1.8 billion in applications were received. It was over 400 projects. 268 have been made eligible, including the Colonial School District's application. And it is now with the esteemed review committee. And I understand that June 17th or thereabout is a date when scores will be published. So, um, Let's see, I don't, I don't have any other information that I've heard either from the county or, or other folks to really help me understand if, if we have a better chance than anyone else on it. But uh, again, it's uh, part of the track, it's the emergency responder system uh, as well. So it's, you know, I, I, I wrote it as, as best I could, um, helping to, them to explain why these were eligible. And all of the uh, athletic, there were only a very small handful of school districts that submitted, and uh, most of them had athletic fields, and they were all deemed eligible. So let's see what the esteemed review committee says. Uh, it's very, you know, very hard to tell. Okay. Are there any other questions for Mr. Lynch? Thank you, Jamie. Great. Thank you very much. And that is the last uh, or first last slash item on the agenda this evening. Um, are there any public comments, Drew? There is none. So I have uh, just a couple questions. Um, are we planning any sort of official ribbon cutting ceremony for the middle school at all? Yeah, I'm, I believe we, we spoke about, you know, when we get the floors and everything, I thought we were talking early September, Dr. Christian. Yes. Plus parking. Uh, yes, parking. Right. Too. Yeah, right thank right. you. Okay, and then my other question is the change in entrance and exit of the middle school for the summer. Will there be a communication going out to families that will be sending their kids for whatever yep. programs are there? Absolutely. Because that could be total confusion driving around the block trying to figure out where you're going. Okay. Yep, and we'll put some temporary signage off in New Hope because as you approach it now, can't see it. It's not very. It, 
Yeah, the, the buses know where to go because they're the only ones that are using it. Yeah, I'll, I'll speak with um, Tim and I'll talk with Jessica, Dr. Christian, we'll get yeah, something out. We'll have to, the grass is all overgrown there because they're still removing Mount Failure, uh, yeah. all the dirt. And uh, We were there today, actually. We caught some of it. Oh, did you? Yeah, we saw some of it, so we were there today. Perfect. So are you getting those um, free dirt signs ready for the leftovers? <laughs> People can I think we need it all. Yeah, <laughs> might need it all. We tried to get Bob to take some with him. Yeah, you know, going away gift, but he didn't want it. And uh, with on. the access of new, will they have access to the existing parking, or is that going to be incorporated in the new parking setup that needs to happen over I'm, the summer? Sorry, I'm sorry. Can you say that? Uh, the people are coming in off of New Hope. Are they going to, or I guess, is everyone going to have to park where the stadium is now, or are they going to be able to park to the ex parking spots that were made? Um, they'll be in the front. Okay. The, the they'll come in off New Hope. They'll get access yeah. to the ones that are there now. They're just getting there. That should be that should be enough for some yeah. park. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're not. We don't have that many activities there, and, and that many that much staff that's going to be in there. Yeah, we have what? We have about fifty spots out front. Yeah, I want to say it's forty-seven or something like yeah. that. But yeah, you're that was you're right on. For the summer. Yeah. Any other questions? No. So uh, this meeting is adjourned. I think that's a new record, Joe.